Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with a Vigor Time VT19, this is the Flash Rocket Do-It-Yourself Learning Kit. You can find this on Amazon, I'll links below. Uh, it's retailing around $14.99, it's pretty unique. This had a 15% off coupon, bringing the price down to $12.75. Not bad. This is a great kit for your second or third one, right before you start building your own radios. This gives you a little bit more experience with the soldering iron and soldering connection points. So let's check it out. Comes in a bubble wrap, always. I like how they protect their stuff. Let's go ahead and take it out of here. There it is, flash rocket. Okay, I'll put this aside, I think it's empty. All right, so in the bag, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring down a little board here and we'll zoom it down. We'll see what came in the bag. I actually haven't opened it up yet, so we'll do this together on camera. So here we are. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. It's got a little extra PCB fin so you can stand it up. Great little project uh, for yourself or for anybody interested in building kits. So yeah, there it is, a flash rocket PCB, nice. So, yeah, it's got a microphone, I believe, and you can whistle into it and get the, the flames to, to actuate with the, the audio. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it's going to have LEDs across here, a big LED there. Um, just really cool setup. A lot of soldering points, so you're going to be busy. <laughs> now, what they did is, from the factory, they pre-soldered a small controller chips, resistors, yeah, that's nice. I'm glad they did all that. So we just have to do the bigger through-hole components. Not bad. So again, good soldering experience for 12 bucks. Totally worth it. And I haven't even built it yet. So we get the PCB. Uh, so let's see what else we get in the bag here. Some instructions, which we'll go over here. Looks like we get a little battery bay. Probably goes on the back side of the rocket. I'm guessing those are AAA batteries. Yeah, it's a pretty small little battery bay. And... We got some LEDs and some more components. I think that is the bag. Whoop. Here's our stand. Okay, cool. I think we're done. All right, yeah. So this is the extra fin, I think, for standing it up. So that goes on the back side there. Something like this here, I think. So you'd solder this in. Yeah, I guess it fits. You may have to trim it to get it to fit perfect. But yeah, it looks like you'll fit it in there and it'll stand up. This is like your little stand. I'm trying to do it on camera here. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have to solder that. Trim it and solder it so it can fit in there. And then it'll it'll be your little stand, as you can see here. Cool. All right, what else do we get? So you get the different color LEDs to simulate the flames. That's great. I love that. So these are all 3 millimeter LEDs. And I uh, get yellow and red. I guess follow the picture. It's going to be simple to build, I imagine. All right, so we got those LEDs there. And we got some more... We have uh, in here, it looks like we have some spacers. Uh, see a, that large blue LED, which goes right in the center there, I'm guessing, when the rocket's on and ready to blast off. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This thing is just neat. It's, it's like a 50s type design. It's awesome. Uh, here we go. Is our condenser mic? We have a capacitor, it looks like. Okay, interesting. And we have a little... I don't know if that's a status LED or something. Yeah, I guess it is. It goes right on the top, the top there, probably. Very cool. Yeah, we got that. And, okay, and I think this is mounting hardware for the battery bay. Okay, so those are standoffs for the battery bay, I'm guessing. All right, cool. Perfect. So let's go ahead and look at the instructions real fast, and I'll show you the tools I'm going to use to assemble this. And then we'll break for some pictures of the build process, and then we'll demo it. So that'll be fun. So here's what they give you in the kit. Usually they're pretty nice to illustrate everything. As you can see, just by the picture, you can go by the picture to build this thing. It's that simple. Just follow how they have the flames. That looks pretty basic, right? Just so follow the picture. Um, yeah, that's there's not much to that. Okay, and then they even give you a schematic um, if you're interested in learning how to read those. Um, very cool. It looks like the controller chip there leading to all the LEDs interacting with the microphone uh, and uh, sending the signals to the right LEDs to get to simulate the flames. That's cool. All right. Uh, there you go. Imitates a rocket launch. Cool. It would be neat to play an actual 
rocket launching audio track next to it. That would be cool. Okay, soldering iron. There you go. Some things you'll need. It says a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, cool. So those are some of the tools. Looks like it's pretty basic. Just soldering iron, sponge, rosin. Okay, cool. All right, so flip this over. I think it'll go over some build picks and stuff. So component list. Make sure you got everything in the bag. Um, so SMD stuff, it's already on the board, like I mentioned. You don't have to worry about that. But it looks like, yeah, it shows you the LEDs and the yellow and, and what you get there, blue, and where to put them, too, the position. Nice. So look at how many you get, 23 and 28. Start adding that up there. The 51 uh, regular LEDs at the bottom just for the flames alone. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> that's a bit of work. I think those might be extras, too. I'm not sure. I'll have to do a count. But there you go, A, B, C, D, and done. It's that simple. Um, they give you a couple little basics, uh, which way to orientate your capacitor and your microphone uh, and soldering on that back leg and then the battery bay. Yeah, so it's yeah pretty basic. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and set that aside. I'm just going to slide these parts off here and kind of show you what I use to build this project. Yeah, you know what? I'll just leave a little rocket right in the center. How about that? That thing's cool. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, yeah, let's let's bring out the uh, Iron Man here. Iron Man likes kids. I love building things. Yeah. <laughs> Gives you an idea with a deck of cards. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Iron Man, he's the rocket man. <laughs> he can fire away like no one can. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> but you get the idea. Cool. Uh, so tools. Yes, let's get serious. Um, yeah, the best thing you could have is an inexpensive multimeter. Uh, this is great for checking continuity to make sure your connections are good. Uh, you can check the diodes to make sure your diodes are good um, and in the right direction. It's excellent. Uh, that This Tesman is a really nice tester for around like 10 bucks. Uh, I featured this. Uh, very cool. It's got a little jacket on it. And this is all you need at the bench. You can read your batteries. You can read yeah, resistance. So you can test uh, resistors. Uh, just a handy little thing. So there's that. I also have a pair of nice flush cut diagonal cutters. That's to cut the component legs off. Nice and flush to the board. Uh, really nice to have these. These are Zeron branded. And these are, and everybody loves this, made in USA. Love it. Okay, so some tools are made in USA. I like to get those if I can. Same as these wire strippers, which I don't think we'll need in here. I didn't see any wires to strip, but the Craftsman. Yeah, USA. Awesome. So these are things I typically use for most of my kits and things you can pick up over time. Um, 10 power loop. Uh, this is nice to inspect your the joints on the board. Uh, it's handy to have. Of course, the solder I use is the 6040 Rosin Core. Uh, you can pick this up uh, on Amazon. Kester brand. You can get smaller amounts of it. Uh, I go for the fine stuff. Uh, this is the thickness right here. It's almost a millimeter, a little less than a millimeter, eight tenths of a millimeter in thickness. So it's this real fine uh, stuff. There you go, gets you an idea. This is perfect for most applications we use. We're not soldering big plumbing jobs or anything, just little components. So this is perfect. This is a pound of it. This lasts me forever. Um, yeah, it doesn't go bad, even though it has an expiration date, which I find that kind of funny that it would have an expiration date on it. Get my tools to all show in here. And then uh, what else would I? I'd use, oh, I'm looking at my bench here. Of course, yeah, you need a Phillips. Uh, let's see if I got a Phillips. I got a regular screwdriver. Got my tools off to the side. Here we go. Just a simple Phillips. You can pick these up too, I believe. Amazon sells these. Made in Germany. Okay. So I use that. And then, of course, last but not least, I like these this headset here. I use this a lot when I build. Uh, this is a stereoscopic headset. You can change these lenses out. This is called an Optivisor. Uh, made in USA. Gotta love it. By Donegan Optical Company. Okay, so you can search the Optivisors. These are nice. Uh, you get a headband. Uh, it's real comfortable to wear. It sits on your head and you can pivot this up and down. Uh, so you can lift it up out of the way when you want to look at normal vision. But stereoscopic is the way to go because you have no eye fatigue. And of course it's adjustable on the back here. Yeah, cool stuff. But that's all the things I use. Doesn't really fit in the frame, but that's the headset I wear. Step back over there. Cool. So, yeah, there it is. What we're going to do is assemble this kit. I'm going to do pictures of the build process. Just a couple. I don't think I'll need to do a ton. It's pretty much just soldering a bunch of LEDs on and uh, putting a little leg, a 
of the rocket on the back and on the battery bay. So pretty straightforward for 12 bucks. I think it's going to be exciting. Uh, I've never had a problem with their kits. Their kits are fantastic. Uh, they're made very well, put together very well. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Um, and it's cool. I, I think this is going to be neat sitting next to my old radios and that. Yeah, from the 50s, 60s. I think that'd be cool. Space race. Definitely awesome to have handy with your retro radios. You got a retro rocket kit. <laughs> I love it. Okay, there it is. And yeah, I'll be back with pictures of the build process. Here are pictures of the build process. In this first picture, I populated the PCB with 23 red 3mm LEDs. No polarity. Next, I added 28 yellow 3mm LEDs. Again, no polarity. Positive side is the longer leg. This is a lot of practice and is good for your skills. Next, the microphone was installed and a 3mm blue LED and a larger 8mm blue LED were added to the board. Again, no polarity for all of these items. And I finalized the kit by attaching the back fin to the main PCB so it can stand up. A file work may be required to get it to fit properly. I had to file mine down. And then I added an electrical capacitor and battery holder. Note polarity on the capacitor. So let's check out the kit. Here it is, the Flash Rocket, yeah! Flash Gordon would approve, the VT-19. It was a great project. This is a lot of practice soldering. It is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, if you're looking to build a second or third kit, this is perfect or ideal for it. I love it. And it makes a great stand-up project. I don't know if stand. There we go. My table's a little crooked. There we go. Stands up. It's pretty neat. Uh, so there's your little blue LED, your microphone, your larger blue LED, little row of yellow, and then we got the flames at the bottom. It runs on three AAA batteries. Got the on-off switch there. There's our back fin installed. Two solder points there to hold it in place. I did have to file it to get it to fit in that spot there. Um, I used a needle file. It worked out pretty well. Um, you can buy a needle file kit on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. But uh, there are all the LEDs. There are quite a few of them. A total of 53, I believe. Actually, maybe a few more. I don't know. It's quite a bit. In all, I think there's 116 points to solder. So you got a lot of practice here. <laughs> Definitely, but it's awesome. So... Yeah, let's uh, measure it. You know, I didn't measure dimensions on this thing. I probably should uh, give you guys an idea of how big this thing is. So we have a length of the little flash rocket at about uh, four and three quarter inches. And then we have a width of around three inches. And we have a depth of about, about an inch. Cool. So there's that. And we got a little test to do with this thing, a little demo. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so a little kit that's uh, real affordable. Um, I think it was on sale for 12 bucks, like I said, $12.75. Um, yeah, so what I got here, I got a little, I got my secret radio tuned to like uh, static. So let me show you. So we're going to play static to do a launch of the rocket. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on with the little micro switch right here. Batteries are installed. There's the electrolytic capacitor. Again, I didn't have to do the little components. Those were already pre-installed, which is good. Um, a couple solder points there for the battery holder. Yeah, I think I covered everything there. And then, of course, there's all the LED points. Now, remember, positive is a longer lead. And positives are always to the top of the rocket. So when you're putting in your... It's flashing right now with me talking. That's cool. Um, always note that the LEDs are all positioned, so the longer leg is to the top of the rocket on all of them. So that's an easy way to remember. Easy way to remember. That's cool. All right, so we're going to launch this thing. So let's put it here and give you a little demo. Turning up the volume on the radio. As you can see, the blue lights go first. Then you get the middle row of yellow, and then the flames. So it starts taking off. That's pretty cool. So let's uh, turn the lights off. So it looks like in the dark.
Oh, that's cool. Got a little light show. There goes Flash Gordon. <laughs> That's awesome. See, it gives uh, static on your radio some use. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I thought you'd enjoy that. So there it is, VT19. What a fun little project. Uh, yeah, I gave it a thumbs up. Uh, this is fantastic. If you're, um, I don't know, a youngster looking to, or to show your youngster how to solder, uh, very cool kit to start. Uh, yourself, too, for experience. If you've done the Elenco, the first uh, kit, learn how to solder, that thing's fantastic because it comes with a soldering iron and uh, solder and everything else. And it gives you uh, practice components to play on. And then you can go to this kit here and get a lot of experience installing these LEDs. Um, and uh, like I said, these are pretty easy to put in. It's just a straightforward kit to build. The only problem I had, I said, was the fin. And I had to use a little file to file it down to get it to fit nice and flush there. Uh, this is the only issue I had with the kit. But uh, that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, there it is, the VT19. Hope you enjoyed the making and building and demoing of this fun little project. Uh, I enjoyed it, and I think it's cool. 50s, 60s, goes with my older radios, maybe yours as well. Uh, if you're a fan of the Space Race or if you remember these type of rockets back in the day, um, yeah, it's just cool. I like how they did this. This is unique. I'm glad a bigger time makes these cool kits like this. All right, give me a big like if you like this video. Two, if you like these kits, Vigor Time or Vogor Time. Make sure to hit subscribe to the bell icon, get notified of future videos. Now, do check out uh, my other videos of Vigor Time or Vogor Time um, kits. Uh, they made a they make a really cool AM FM radio, and if they still have it, I'll link it up here in the iCard section. Great little AM radio kit or AM FM radio kit, stereo actually, um, and it works fantastic. It picks up all tons of stations, so that could be like your third or fourth kit, and actually build a radio that you'll use. Oh, that's always fun as well. So there you go. All right, guys. Well, make sure to subscribe and bell icon, of course, like I mentioned. And three, comment below what you think about the Flash Rocket. Do you think you'll pick one up for Christmas or something to practice on? Um, build it, give it to a grandson, you know, somebody in the Rockets, um, just yourself in general. So, you know, I do, I do like tuning in the static and launching it. That's pretty cool. It was a good idea. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.